So often you see demonstrations with iron body or iron shirt, and um, I always find it very difficult to know how to demo this ability because fundamentally it's the ability to take impact. Now, I don't demo it very often simply because taking impact to the body repetitively in a way that isn't conducive to developing strength is ultimately going to take a toll, on, a toll on your body, no matter who you are and how hard you've trained. Plus, if someone's trained far, far harder than you at punching, it's still going to do damage. It'll just do less damage than if you hadn't done any body conditioning. It's not magic. But at the same point, you see many demos where people get sticks broken over their arm and their back. Well, that's okay, but if it's a really powerful stick and you hit hard with it, sticks don't snap very easily. It's only very, very weak wood that's used often in Shaolin Kung Fu demos that snaps. The same with the iron head demos where they use a, a piece of metal and they smash it over the head. Well, frequently that's just pig iron and you can pretty much tap that on a wall, it'll snap. It, it, it requires no real force. Real metal, tough metal bends. So these things, it's all dependable on the material you use. Likewise, I see some people, they put a mountain of bricks on their head or their belly and have the sledgehammer hit them. Well, the bricks break because the impact goes into the bricks. They don't particularly go into the head. You take very little in the head or the belly. So it's another kind of a scam. If you can take a sledgehammer to the head or to the belly, that's impressive. Um, finally, the other one is where cars drive over the belly. Um, they always have a ramp up each side. So the, the actual the car goes over the flat part and it takes very little strength. You can, you can achieve that by doing a certain amount of sit-ups each day. The same with jumping uh, from a height onto the belly. These are all things that people show, but they don't really demonstrate a particularly high level of iron shirt or iron body. So the only way I know to demonstrate it is to have people hit me. Now, whenever I do that, I get accused it's a student or they're pulling their punches. And I can't do this for every single person I meet. But um, when I use people, I use whoever's there and wherever I am. I've had people from out of audiences come and hit me. And likewise, you know, if you really want to try and hit me, you're welcome to come down in the next few years and try it. I don't know after the next few years, I might just want to sit around and eat KFC, so the challenge isn't on forever. But it's a good conditioning method, and I'm going to give a few demos of, of what it can do. But again, it's not really designed for this, it's designed for health and self-defense. Okay, so let's move on to a few demos. And just to show how this is developed, I've got uh, a new friend here who is... Thanks, and he's going to um, throw me a couple. He's a nice man. Thank you very much. Next. So next we're going to do a quick iron body demonstration. Um, again, this is not something you should do at home. I'm only doing it so that you can see some of the benefits that this sort of training accrues. Mainly, iron body is a health technique, keeps you healthy, keeps your body strong. But as a side effect, it gets a quite a bit stronger at dealing with hard blows. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to use a seven pound sledgehammer. This is exactly the sort of sledgehammer you'd use if you wanted to knock down a wall in your house. Um, and just to demonstrate the sort of power that this generates, without me putting much force in, uh, I've got some pretty solid concrete blocks here, and I'll just demonstrate that it takes practically nothing to go through them. So I'm going to ask Pete if he will kindly use the sledgehammer, and I'll just show you how the uh, iron body conditioning has strengthened my stomach. Before I do that, I'm just going to show that I've not got any hidden steel plates or something behind my stomach. It's a perfectly normal t-shirt, no, no cons, no Batman suits. Okay, so if I step forward and we uh, do the demonstration. So as you can see, the stomach just gets 
um, quite a bit harder and quite a bit more capable of taking blows if it has to.